Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Jimmy Balls Five Two One coming at you with another gameplay over at Logic Gaming. Today, I have a pretty impressive gameplay, in my opinion. Even though it is on the map raid, hopefully, a lot of you guys still enjoy it. I showed you guys the scoreboard at the end of the first round, and I was forty-two and seven, having a pretty decent game. And I knew I had the momentum going into this one because I had a, a VSAT to start the game off, and I also had a swarm from my kill streaks that were beginning to recycle. And I finished the game off 152 and 9, and one of my deaths is to my own swarm, and that's kind of what I would talk about in this gameplay, is uh, the power and also the danger of the swarm. And obviously, if you hear that, I'm not going to go into a commentary about how great the swarm is. If you guys don't know by now, it's the best kill streak in the game. You guys should definitely know that. I don't know where you've been, but one thing I want to talk about quickly before that. Is the kill streaks in Black Ops 2 and why I really prefer them over the best kill streaks in, say, Modern Warfare 3? Uh, one thing about this combination with the dogs and the swarm, maybe just a new uh, point of view or a new opinion on these, this combination, which you guys probably have heard before, but something I want to say again since you know this channel is based on tips, is the fact that when you get these, when you get the swarm and the dogs, there's no chance of these things getting shot down, and I know. The dogs can get shot at or knifed, which is very rare. But one thing that I do want to say is, when you get these kill streaks and when the best players get the kill streaks that they deserve, they get the kills that they deserve. These dogs and the swarm will get so many kills. I'd say 15 to 20 pretty regularly uh, with the dogs, and then maybe even 30 at times with the swarm, which can really make or break a gameplay around. Uh, which is something that's awesome that I really prefer to say Modern Warfare 3 when you get the best kill streaks in the game, the Pavlo, the Osprey Gunner. They could be down within 10 seconds because of the stingers and all that. And the swarm is not getting shot down, and the dogs are definitely going to do work no matter what either way as well, which is something that I think should always be in the game. You get the best kill streaks, you get the most kills, you get rewarded for what you deserve. And, and that's something great about this game in my opinion the, the power of the kill streaks at times they may go off they may feel like they're overpowered uh, I do my best to not have any swarms called in on me and it doesn't happen too often I'll say proudly but uh, that's just something that I like about it maybe you guys haven't thought about that yet these things don't really get shot down and that's why uh, they can go to work almost every time and one thing I want to talk about is the danger of the swarm as well as the power you guys know that these can these can get uh, probably 25 kills pretty regularly, depending on the enemy team and you know where they are. Um, but one thing I want to talk about is, like I said, I die to my own swarm in this gameplay. And the other night I was playing, and I remember saying to myself, "I'm pretty sure I've died more to my own swarms than the enemy players." Like that's how good I felt about my own gameplay. I felt like I was really on a roll, and this is one of those games where I felt like I played this pretty well to my own ability I'm not gonna say these guys are really good they were probably pretty bad players I looked at the end of the school uh, end of the game and they weren't all level ones but I'm not saying they're good players but I felt like I played this map very well and uh, one of the mistakes which is unfortunate to call it a mistake but one of the mistakes I made was running into the sea spawn right here and dying to my own swarm and uh, one thing I wanted to ask you guys about and get your opinion or maybe even a tip or two is uh, seeing what you guys think about rushing into the spawn with the swarm because I've heard that if you stay in the middle of the map or basically away from the enemy team your swarm will do more damage and that's uh it's probably hard to believe but maybe that's just something from people saying stay out of the spawn and let the swarm go to work and you won't die to it that's that's obviously you won't you won't die to the swarm if you're not near the enemy team because the swarm crashes down on the enemy players and you might think and it's my opinion as well I want to go into the spawn because that's when these guys are most vulnerable they have no idea what's going on most of the time there's a VSAT in the air too which encourages rushing you know exactly where they are these guys are panicking they're looking down at their feet at dogs up at the sky at the swarm and then you die to your own swarm. It's kind of irritating, guys. It's really annoying. But I want to uh, hear your thoughts on if you guys rush into the spawn or if you kind of back off. Uh, I'm still working on it. 
Obviously, like I said, I'm dying to my own swarms a little. So that's a gameplay. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.